um, I'm having a little bit of a shocker of a morning. I woke up early to tidy up the house and the dryer is now broken. It's only just one year old. Um, the washing's on the line and it looks like it's about to rain. Um, Rocco has hurt his foot and is insisting that I carry him everywhere from one end of the house to the other because he says he can't walk. Okay, I, I've got to go. Someone's calling me to the bathroom for mother bathroom duties. So I just recorded an amazing um, podcast talking about startup businesses, um, YouTube, um, juggling or struggling to juggle motherhood. Um, so, and I'm absolutely starving. I haven't had breakfast, but I am intermittent fasting today. There are so many cool cafes where I am and so many like cute bars and I'm so tempted to just go into one of them, get something to eat there and switch off and even just plow through some work like remotely. But I'm not. I'm not gonna waste money. Well, I don't have any money to spend because I've blown my budget. I am going to go back to the office or maybe work from home and eat there. So it's Friday afternoon. It is so hot and I'm exhausted. I have been, I'm so glad the week's over. I've been, I had such a crazy week. Um, tomorrow I'm going with Tom to see his sister-in-law and to meet um, her new um, baby boy and I went to Seed which is the most gorgeous kids wear shop and bought a super um, adorable baby boy outfit because it's her first boy and I wanted her to have something nice to like to put him in because her first child was a girl. Um, now Seed is absolutely gorgeous. I think it's quite expensive. Um, but um, when they have sales, the sales are so good. And Rocco actually needed a couple of things um, which I've been putting off for a while. Um, and they happen to have a like further 40% off reduced prices. So I wanna show you what I bought for him. For him. I spent a total of $78. So I've basically used up all my allocation for clothes of the budget this month. I got him some sunglasses, which actually weren't on sale, but he needed some and that's obviously um, safety. I got him this t-shirt which he actually saw a while ago and said how he thought the sharky t-shirt was so cute. I got him this. Um, I bought him another t-shirt. I swear at daycare stuff goes missing. Um, I do buy my child clothes. Um, super cute. These were like I think $12 each. Um, now clothes in Australia are quite expensive just so you know. Um, some new board shorts which actually change colour underwater. Um, and some other shorts, so which have this this super cute pattern on the bum. Now, um, as I said, that all costs seventy eight dollars. It's within my um, allocation for the month. It's not exactly frugal, but I made sure I bought everything one size bigger so that this these clothes last, um, and they will last for as long as possible. So he gets his dollar per wear. Um, as I said, it, Rocco needed new clothes, particularly new t shirts, because they just seem to go missing all the time. And with kids arts and crafts and food stains and stuff like that kids burn through clothes like there's no tomorrow well at least Rocco does so I've now finished for my budget um, on clothes for the month it's done I cannot buy any more clothes and I will stick to that because I'm really strict with that it's Friday night and I am shattered I picked Rocco up from daycare I had the dogs in the boot who of the car and they desperately needed to go for a good walk um, I also needed to get some fresh air and I also needed to get dinner underway so I decided even though it's frugal February that I would out of self-love and self-respect and just utter exhaustion we went on a date night just Rocco and I and the dogs like we used to and we went and got sushi and it was a great opportunity for Rocco to eat lots of healthy food the dogs were able to sit next to us um, beside the table outside of the restaurant and it was great him and I just connecting and laughing and it was really special and if you know being frugal February um, I just I was really careful in what I ordered I made sure I only ordered a really healthy food and I was careful not to over order we only drank tap water um, most of the food was um, vegetables so, and the bill came to including the tip $35 so you know that's coming out of my weekend um, uh, budget and I'm completely and utterly fine with that um, on another note when I picked Rocco up from school um, he said oh I made you something and like ran off now this morning I was quite stressed I was getting really frustrated 
and um, the final straw of seeing the milk splattered all across the kitchen was, uh, you know, obviously I was feeling really overwhelmed. I was late for a meeting. I had to get the house ready for Airbnb. I was juggling a lot. Anyway, I picked him up from school and um, this is what he made me. It's a rainbow. And he said to me, I made it to um, help, you feel, help you feel happy. And you know what? I absolutely love it. It is, it, it's, the room's quite dark so you can't see all the colors. So I'll take a picture and put it on my personal Instagram account. But I am so touched by it. I absolutely love it. It's got glitter everywhere. Um, and I'm, I'm touched. And you know what? It cost absolutely nothing. And I think it's probably the most precious art he's ever made me. Anyway, Tom is on his way home. Um, Rocco's in bed. Um, we're gonna have a quiet Friday night in. Um, it's just, there's just been a huge storm. So there's the, the best place to be, I reckon, um, when there's a storm is at home and this humidity is just out of control. But Tom's gonna grab a bottle of wine and um, we're gonna enjoy a glass of wine together and um, just talking and hanging out together on a Friday night, getting ready for the weekend. I hope everyone's having a great weekend too.